What's up everybody, I'm SS Multiverse, and today we're talking about Screen Rant's 15 Superpowers You Didn't Know Goku Had by Jack O'Regan. Now the reason I'm already laughing at this is, if you watch the series even once, how could there possibly be 15, not 5, like not like 1 or 2, but 15 superpowers you had no idea Goku even had. It seems so unlikely, but we're going to go over this article and get a cheap laugh out of it. I mean, who knows, maybe he's going to surprise us. I only skimmed through it briefly, so I don't really know what's in it. But who knows, this could be the greatest article I've ever written, and it's just going to completely enlighten us about the Dragon Ball series. Okay, so just a quick summary of this article it says he is one of the most famous faces in anime and whether you're a fan of the original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super or anything in between, chances are you've worked out the very basics of Son Goku. When he's not eating, he's training. When he's not training, he's eating. Sometimes he's eating and training. But there is more to everyone's favorite San than maybe you realize. I mean, you don't literally go through hell and back without learning a few things. Goku, Super Saiyan transformations, instant transmission, Kamehameha technique are the stuff of legend. But those who pay enough attention to Dragon Ball franchise would have noticed Goku has plenty more tricks up his sleeve. So many, in fact, it's a wonder he doesn't use them more often. Of course, a lot depends on whether or not they actually are canon, but including all instances where Goku actually showed the ability we didn't know he was capable of. So starting with Dragon Ball, reaching as far as Dragon Ball GT, there here are 15 superpowers you didn't know Goku had. Okay, so there was kind of a lot wrong with the first two paragraphs, but it was mostly just little things in writing. I don't really want to nitpick too much, but however, with the superpowers, I will be a lot more picky. But anyways, let's get right into this. So number 15 is flight without key. Okay, right off the bat, if you watched the series even once, you would have known he, he could fly using his tail. I mean, he clearly showed him do it. And the scene wasn't even like hidden or anything. It's not even like in a movie or anything. It was just in an actual episode when he fought Master Roshi in the first tournament that appeared in the series. Okay, I'm not going to read this whole three paragraphs here, but it's essentially saying you need key in order to fly in Dragon Ball and that Goku's one of the few characters that can fly without key. Another thing is Goku doesn't even have a tail anymore. So what's the point of even mentioning this? He can't, since he doesn't have a tail, he can't fly like the picture showing anymore. But I don't even agree that he's one of the few characters who can fly without key. I think there's a lot of characters with wings throughout the series who can fly as well without key. It also says all full blood sands are born with the innate ability to fly. Where does it say that? I don't recall them directly saying that. I would agree that most sands do learn how to fly on their own quite easily. But I, I never heard that they're just born with the innate ability. That, that, that's a little bit too much for me. I wouldn't go that far. Number 14 is increased lung capacity. And this, if you're comparing Sans to humans, I will agree with that Goku does have increased lung capacity. He can't hold his breath for longer periods of time than human beings. All right, so let's see what they say here. Okay, so they're talking about Goku's fight with Beerus that was in the upper atmosphere of Earth, if not in space, and Vegeta in scenes where he's like shown in close to outer space as well. So yeah, I mean, I do agree. Sands are more durable than human beings, so I guess that would be a superpower. So I'd say in total, we're, we have one maybe and one yes. But then again, you would be aware of this if you look at the series even once, so I don't even know what they're trying to get at. Okay, number 13 is regeneration, and this one is so stupid. There is no way you wouldn't know that Goku has regeneration if you even watched the series even once. You, you would instantly see it in the episode, you would know he had it. What do they mean this is a power that, Go that you didn't know Goku had? Everybody knows he has it. Even if you haven't watched the series, you would know it because so many Dragon Ball Z YouTubers and whatnot have talked about it. So there's no way anyone would know about it. I mean, at least with the lung capacity, you know, it's just, it could be something that slipped your mind. But with this, it's like everybody knows he has it. And another thing is Goku has only been shown to do this with his red god form. So it hasn't even been proven that he could do it in Super Saiyan Blue. So is this really a superpower he even has access to anymore? like the uh, flight without key one because he doesn't have a tail anymore. So <laughs> this list is just talking about these weird instances where something happened that is kind of like an outlier, but it doesn't even mean Goku even has these abilities anymore. But okay, and before we move on, what is this? <laughs> 
that says a Super Saiyan God form is shown to be far superior. Not even just superior, far superior to Super Saiyan Blue and the manga. I don't see that. <laughs> if you're saying it's far superior, like I get that there's some people who talk about the red form being stronger. In the anime, it's not even cool. Super Saiyan Blue is definitely shown to be a superior form, at least in my opinion, but they're saying that the red form is far superior. Like that wording means a lot to me. Like, what are they talking about? Like it, it says he defeats both hit and future trunks at full power. In the anime, he beat future future trunks in Super Saiyan 3. And for Hit, Super Saiyan Blue was stronger than Hit. Although it seems like in the manga, the gap between Goku and Hit was a lot more than the anime. But what are they talking about when they say that? Like <laughs> Now, I will admit, I'm just going to be straight up honest here. I have not seen every chapter of the manga. Boo, why do you even have a Dragon Ball channel then? But, I mean, from what I've seen it, I've seen at least like 60-70% of it. I have yet to see any proof that the Super Saiyan Red Form, the Super Saiyan God Red Form is stronger than what we see in the anime from Super Saiyan Blue. It seems like moreover that they just made hit weaker in the manga that was my interpretation of it at least as far as i know okay number 12 immunity to hair growth okay i love how in the thumbnail right here they automatically disprove number 12 as it is just with the title alone that's incorrect because they, they never said they're immune to growing beards or mustaches just their the hair on their head so but maybe he's more specific in the description let me just read this right here okay so what i was saying was in fact true that they left out that they can grow beards and mustache at least they mentioned that you can go bald but they never said anything about the mustache show this is a load of Garbage. I know what they were getting at. They're talking about the hair on their head, how they don't need to get a haircut. But the way they worded this was incorrect. They do not have immunity to hair growth. It's just that the, the, their hair on their head does not get any longer from the day that they were born. Okay, number 11 is eight arm fist. And after reading this, I can say this is the biggest load of garbage yet in this article. It essentially says, you know, from the title, that Goku can use eight arms and attack. And the fight they're talking about is when he faced Tien in the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament. And he didn't actually grow eight arms. Like, they're trying to suggest almost that he actually grew eight arms. He did not, he created the illusion because Tien used four arm, a forearm technique. It, Goku created the illusion he had eight arms, but it was actually just him speedily throwing punches. At least that's how I remember it. I have I have not watched that fight a long time ago, but I highly doubt Goku actually has the ability to grow eight arms. All right, number 10 is mimicry. And before I even read this, this one sentence jumped out to me so hard. It says, in Z, Chaozu learns the self-destruct technique from the Cybermen. What? How do you even come up with this stuff? He didn't learn how to self-destruct from the Cybermen. He learned how to do that beforehand through his training. <laughs> you just watch Yamcha get blown up and then the, the, and then Chouts is like, oh, so that's how you blow yourself off. And then he just went on to do a Nappa. <laughs> All right, let me read the rest of this and let you guys know what, what they're talking about here. Okay, it also says that Frieza used Krillin's Destructo Disc, or it says it deploys a variation of it. No, that was his own attack. Boy, okay, whoever wrote this article has to really watch the series again. Like, and it says Goku Black mimicked in Dragon Ball Super. Now, let me think about that. It depends. If you count him using Goku's techniques, then yes, but that was Goku's body. So in a way, is that really copying Goku? It's more like using the moves he already had. I'm trying to think if he used any move. I think a better example, and this didn't happen, but if Goku used the evil containment wave or the Mafuba after seeing Trunks use it, I think that would be mimicry more than what they're talking about. But yes, I mean, it's true that Goku can mimic other fighters better than most but just the way this was written like these just 
Just blatant BS lies. Like, look at this. Chaozu learns to self-destruct from Cyberman, and Frieza learns destructive from Krillin. It's like, no, it's like, rewatch those parts. <laughs> that is not what happened. Okay, number nine is healing. Now, I'm gonna somewhat disagree with them. It, because yes, there has been scenes where he's helped people to recover, but I wouldn't necessarily call it healing. I think he more can give energy to like things like he like the scene in the coolest movie i think he's giving energy to that bird or it mentions a scene where goku gives energy to frieza i think he's sharing his key with them which gives them the strength to keep going but i do think there's a difference in at least the dragon ball world between giving energy and healing if you count that as healing then yes he does he have the ability to heal but i think he could just give his key two other fighters i don't think he's necessarily a healer now the one time i would say he actually healed someone was when he was in the red super sand god form and he healed himself that would be the only time i'd say that that was definitely healing that i can think of off the top of my head all right number eight is purity of heart and i'm just gonna straight up say that yes goku has a pure heart especially in Dragon Ball. I mean, I'd say in Dragon Ball Z as well. I, mean, I don't see any reason why it would just go away over time, but it was more of, I'm saying it was more relevant in Dragon Ball, but yes, I mean, he can ride the flying Nimbus. The Devil Man couldn't hit him with his Devil Might Beam, which proved he didn't have a single negative thought. Yes, Goku does in fact have a pure heart. So that would be another superpower Goku has. Okay, number seven, superhuman smell. Okay, this is another one of those things that was more of a factor in Dragon Ball, but I'd say yes, his, his smell is better than most humans. The only thing weird about what they were saying is they said Goku has super sight. I'm trying to think if they ever said that. I mean, he has, he, 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 he can sense people really well, like using, you know, he can sense their keys really well and he has incredible combat reflexes and I'm trying to think. I would say he does have super sight in Kaioken because that heightens all senses. I'm trying to think if in his base form he does though. Let me know if you guys, if that's ever been said that he has super sight because that'd be the only problem that I saw. Otherwise, yes, he does have good smell. All right, number six is spirit bomb absorption. And uh, yes, I mean, if you count the movies, which are non-canon, yes, Goku can absorb the spirit bomb. If you don't, he can't. So, uh, I don't know if I def count that as like a superpower, like that, like if you look up the definition of the word superpower, it's more like just saying that this is one of Goku's techniques that he can absorb his own, you know, energy he creates, like. I guess it's a superpower to be able to absorb energy, but I'm talking about like because this article is called 15 superpowers you know Goku had. Okay, whatever. I'll just give it to them. If you count the movies, yes, it's a superpower Goku has, but everybody knows he has. So it's not like <laughs> you ain't fooling anybody here at article. Everybody knows he did that. I mean, you just have to watch the movie once. Okay, this, I don't even know what to say about this one. Invisible Eye Blast. So it's talking about using key where your eyes light up and it does something. And then they say Goku has it because he dug a grave with Vegeta after Frieza killed him by using it. And then he also did it in GT as well. <sighs> Look, it's not really a separate superpower other than just having key control. He's essentially just using key to do his bidding, which in this case would be to dig a grave for Vegeta or whatever else, you know, I don't really see, this is kind of like the absorbing spirit bomb one. It's just him manipulating energy in a certain way. I mean, honestly, he could have took like a bunch of these and just said, energy manipulation, done. <laughs> I will give him this. I forgot that he did do that at one point. Like when they first said it, I thought only like the Supreme Kai has done that but no he actually goku has done it a couple times um one of them was in gt so if that i don't even know if most people would count that but okay i guess i'll give him that i i love the name of it by the way invisible eye blast like very professional sounding <laughs> okay number four telepathy now this one's pretty self-explanatory this is a superpower everybody knew goku had he used it once on namek he and he almost 
I think he never used it again, did he? I don't think he, I definitely don't think he used it in the exact fashion of which he used on Namek, but yeah, everybody knows he had it. Sarko is not really trying to fool anybody. Oh wait, did he use it when they were inside Majin Buu? Uh, didn't they use it to, to like, see what happened to the fat Buu? The good Buu, like what happened to him? And then they got, they're like, oh, so the evil Buu absorbed them. I remember there's a scene where they might have done it after. Okay, what, whatever. They've only done it a couple times, but everybody knows Goku has it. And he didn't say anything that bad. I mean, the wording in all these is kind of weird. It's kind of like someone who only watched the series once. It was kind of writing this, but okay. Okay, number three, Energy Shield Generation. This is another one of those, a lot of characters have this. I think it's just something cool they threw in the series. You know, I don't think, you know, anyone intentionally sat down and be like, okay, all of a sudden Goku learned Ener Energy Shield or a barrier. I think it was something just everybody started gaining at once, you know, like Andre 17 did one, Broly did one, you know, I think even like Trunks in one scene did one. I mean, everybody just started doing them all of a sudden. I think that was just, it's just part of what I was saying earlier where it's energy manipulation. He's using, he, you know, he's using his key to create a barrier around him. He could, this guy who wrote this article could lump so many of these together if he just did that. Okay, number two, telekinesis. And we already know pretty much anybody in Dragon Ball Z, you know, by the Cell Saga can use their key to lift things up. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It even shows a picture of Cell doing it. Um, another one of those things where it, it's just this article, man, it, it just should say Goku can't control his own energy. Dawn, like that's like half this entire article. I mean, yes, they can use their energy for anything. They can make a barrier. They can use it to pick things up. They can use it to fly. They can do like all these things with it. I mean, you only have to watch the series once to know that. It's not a superpower you didn't know Goku had. Everybody knows he had it. It's no secret. The cat's out of the bag. The white elephant in the room has been splashed with rainbow paint and has been revealed. Everybody knows he has these abilities, okay? And number one, bottomless stomach. Bam! He's leaving this off on a joke. He has realized that this article is a load of garbage. I mean, come on. Like, there's just so many things in here. I mean, I don't even know if there was one of those I didn't know Goku had. Like, I think there might have been one or two. I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, he does have that. But I, I even I knew he had it. I just maybe forgot about it slightly. But... And it's not even true. He doesn't have a bottomless stomach. He will get full if you feed him enough. It's just more than the average person. This guy who wrote this article, I guarantee, barely watches this series. I mean, he tried his hardest. It was decently written. Like, it, it had some entertainment value to it. But this definitely was not 15 superpowers we didn't know Goku had. This was just 15 superpowers. If you watch the series once, you would know Goku had all of them. <laughs> I do like that picture, however, you know, Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, and Whis. That pretty much summarizes Dragon Ball Super today. So, I mean, all in all, like, this is just something a little different. Let me know, guys, if you liked me doing stuff like this instead of just theory videos. I just saw this and I laughed so hard at just the title of this. I mean, let alone, I didn't even read that much of it. I was like, oh boy, we're in for a good one today. I think this article was just to get some cheap clicks on it. Uh, I had some fun reading it though. I mean, Mr. Jack O'Regan tried his best, but in the end, you gotta watch the series to know anything about it. <laughs> and at the very bottom it says, what is your favorite power in Dragon Ball? Let us know in the comments. I think my favorite power uh, would have to maybe be fusion, even though it's absolutely OP. Although nerfed in Dragon Ball Super, it's still overpowered. And I like how it just creates this ultra rig character, you know, like in Fusion Reborn that it's just, you know, shit's going to go down. I mean, it's it's like, bam, like the Fusion character appears and it's just like, whoa, like you're on the edge of your chair. And you just know the villain's going to get destroyed. So that'd probably be my favorite. Anyways, guys, let me know if you learned anything by reading 15 superpowers you didn't know Goku had. Let me know if you did. You, 
if you actually were surprised by some of these or how many of you did, did you know versus didn't know. And lastly, I know I said this, but do you do you like me doing stuff like this where I'm like responding to articles or do you just like me doing theory videos and that's it? Let me know in the comments. I'll read them like always. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.